How you guys doing? Everybody good? To get to this point, I mean, it's what we've been working for, it's what we've been building on, it's what we've been talking about. But to go out there and do it is a completely different thing. And uh, just proud of our team. It's a player's game, and they're, they're out there making the plays, and there was a lot of them last week. So you just see some of the pieces and the weapons that we continue to utilize, and we got to continue to work through some of those things, and I think it was really a positive thing to see. Look, you sit down for five minutes with head coach Jake Dicker, you will be impressed with his leadership style, his football acumen, the way in which he relates to players. Ward out of the shotgun. Open, touchdown, room service, Williams. Watson in the backfield, takes the handoff, touchdown. And an amazing job of leading this squad. And another win. I'm just so proud of our team. They stood in there and we pulled off a big win. Let's go, lots of communication. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Set your mind right with the right intentions. Let's go get it. You grew up in small towns. Mm -hmm. Your coaching career has been rooted in small towns. So why was Pullman such a perfect fit for you? I think mean, it's just one of those things that is familiar to, to me and it's familiar to our family. And good people, blue collar, hard working, right? Their food tastes better when we win and you could feel that passion. Just, you go into any you know, local restaurant, bar, whatever it is, you're gonna see a Coug logo and it means something to everybody here. Get up there, Trey. Get up there, Trey. There you go. You got more in there. Don't go through the motions. Here we go. Here we go. Just the hardworking nature of the way I grew up. You know, everything you ever want in life is on the other side of hard work. There's so many things that Pullman and Washington State brings to our family that we value so much. And uh, especially now having a family and three kids. There's Jake Dickert. First full season, just 39 years old. Became the interim head coach last year in week eight. When you took over this program as head coach, what traits did you want people to start associating with your program here? Well, I think we obviously took over under unique circumstances uh, back in 21. You gotta stand on the foundation you've already built. You know, so I was here for a couple of years with, with our players and our program, and they're gonna see you in a certain way. And I wanted to be just that light of strength a little bit, and just always show that you can do hard things. Right, and I'm a product of that. So hard to me is, is normal and change, I think, is, is a part of life that young people have to get used to. He's not scared to go outside the box and just bring in good people here. How would you describe your coaching style and your philosophy? Well, I think one, I always do want to start with an energy. I think energy is really big uh, because we have this theme, central theme around here is just living your best. Okay, and our standard is being the best uh, on and off the field in everything we do. Let's go to work! Let's go to work! Let's go to work! The B is belief. You know, I think my number one job is to instill belief in young people, okay? Because I think when, when from a head coaching seat, you tell someone 18 to 23, I believe in you, it unlocks every potential that they possibly could have. The E is energy, and I think the energy is real, right? Are you an energy giver or are you an energy taker? Uh, and how that works, uh, we talk about juice all the time and having juice and playing with juice. Hey, Juice to what you do. Let's go. Let's go. If you're juiceless, you're useless. You know some of those things. Uh, the S is strain. Uh, I think, you know, not only the game of football but the game of life. You got to be able to push through toughness, and you show who you are when you get knocked down. And the T is togetherness. Uh, I think it's the number one thing that we try to do in our program because Pullman is unique. We don't have a four-hour recruiting circle. Victor turns the corner, has the angle at the 20 sideline. Is he in? Touchdown! The 23rd ranked Cougs are going to walk out of this thing with a 3-0 record and a 3-0 start here in 2023. How is the season going so far? We're off to a fast start. Uh, we talk about it all the time as a program, starting fast matters because uh, there's a focus and a discipline to it. But you got to take each challenge kind of one by one. And I really feel like we're battle tested. But we're not satisfied. And I think that's important. We have a bunch of mature competitors that want to keep getting better. And from, from my seat, it's empowering them now to go do it, right? Because it isn't the words I say that are going to lead the future success. It's, it's from the team and from within them of wanting to challenge each other and hold each other accountable. Our effort, our energy, and our execution will matter. That's how you still win games. 
whether we start fast or have the lead or we're behind, however that game is, know that we really need to stay the course for 60 minutes because that's how we're going to get the result that we want. Hey, talk about pressing to get better. Yeah, I came in today and that countdown clock outside the office said 65 days. 65 days is all we're guaranteed left together. Think about that. Let that sink in for a little bit. All the way back to fall camp, look around this stadium. It's going to be another amazing opportunity to show all the work you put into the duck. Hey, go out there and be your best. Leak, you got the truck? Hey, here we go. Oh, we got it. Oh, we need it.